Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the gamut node. Now yesterday's node breakdown was the uh, color space transform node. And the gamut node does allow you to transform color spaces to different color spaces. And it also allows you to remove and add gamma curves. And this is what we're gonna concentrate on in this node is the gamma curves. Because this is primarily what I use it for. So we're going to go ahead and jump into Fusion. And to kind of see what this node does, I'm just going to bring in a background. And we're going to throw a gradient on it. Now we talked yesterday too about transforming it into a linear color space and the the primary reason you want to use a linear color space is it's more accurate mathematically and it's l less stress on your computer even though there are computers are so fast you, you really don't notice but there's there's no real calculations as far as our curves or gamma curves when it comes to calculating linear color and uh, to kind of show show this let me actually go ahead and back way up to the early days of the CRT monitor and the reason why these curves exist so in the in the real world how light behaves is it pretty much doubles the value as the light doubles so it's it's just double the intensity is double what we see in the old days of the crts that, that's not really what happened so if i create a spline here just to kind of demonstrate what's going on and you can kind of see it in this gradient in the way it was really coming out when we uh, intensified our input. It didn't quite one-to-one -one match up or double as it intensified. It kind of went along this curve and the actual mathematical value of the curve was Y equals X to the power of gamma or X to the power of 2.2 and to be able to make up for this, our images, our sRGB images and Rec. 709 and all that stuff, mathematically does its own little formula to reverse this, to even it out, which would be y equals x to the power of 1 over gamma. So what, what are gamut node is really doing is it's allowing us to remove that curve and work on a, on a linear level so if I pop this down and we're gonna say our little background here is rec 709 right here scene you see there's really no changes so it's kind of following along that curve still as you can see it's slowly getting brighter but if I remove that gamma curve you can instantly see we're more on a linear level so that's what this gamut node is doing it allows you to remove those curves. It allows you to do a lot of stuff. Um, change, change your color space, change it out if you want to change it. But how I work is if I need to change my gamut to make it linear, I'll make it linear, do any work I got to do. And we can add another gamut at the end. and not change the source coming in because we've already changed our source and our output change it 
into Rec. 709 again, but add our gamma back in. And you can see our images is right back where it was. So that's what the gamut node does. It allows you to remove those curves, giving you a linear color space workflow. And if you have more questions about color space and cause I know it can get really confusing. Um, my go-to guy for anything, any questions or anything I need to know about color is Wazzy Q. So I'll go ahead and put a link to his YouTube page and he explains stuff amazingly and you'll fully understand, but that's the gamut node. I'll see you tomorrow.